three interceptions between you two guys. Offense didn't have their stuff today, but you guys' defense um, stood strong. Was there a moment where you guys were like getting together, like, hey, we got to pick this up and maybe win it? Uh, we always told the offense that it doesn't matter what, we got your back. And that's what we kept telling them. It was like, y'all, I know y'all can get stuff right, but put your trust in us. Know that we're going to have your back. You know, just um, when we get that stop, you know, make that be your momentum and um, pull through. And eventually they did. And they started getting, you know, some good possessions going, started ending up with touchdowns. Uh, Cage, had a, uh, Cage had a rough start, but I think he came in and did his thing and he just showed that he can handle adversity. And I know he's the guy for sure. So nothing but uh, – Nothing but positive things uh, going forward for sure, but uh, definitely things to work on. But we'll get right. Monteric, on that interception you had, you really jumped on that ball. What'd you see? What'd you see developing on that play? I mean, it's just something that's translated from practice. You know, that's what I do in practice. Like, just I'm just thankful for the guys, for um our team and the scout team, just giving me that look in practice, and it just translated over to the game. So it was just easy, and I just had to trust what I had to see on the field. Yes, for, for both. both of you, if you can go first, but, um. What was the importance of playing a good first half defensively when, you know, they had field position on you almost the whole half? It's very important. You know, you got to go out there and play every play, you know. Um, often started out slow, but, um, you know, like Kellen said, we got their back. So we um, we just played every play hard, you know, and we faced adversity, but we got over it and adjusted the second half offensively. Um, from, my, from my standpoint, I always say, uh, Coach, I always tells us, just give a place to stand, let's go play. Doesn't matter what the offense does, you know, as long as we do our part, then everything else is going to fall in place the way it's supposed to. And you saw what happened today. Nobody got down. Nobody was pointing fingers. We all came together and said, we're going to be a unit and we're going to, it's, if you're struggling, we're struggling. We're going to help you through it. And we made the stops and the offense finally got the juice going. And then you saw what happened. So I'm just proud of the offense for um, handling the verse pretty well. For, for both of y'all, I'm wondering if y'all saw the one handed grab Tyson Morris made in the third quarter. And if you did, you know, what do you think that did for offensive momentum? I think it got it going. Uh, I did see it. Uh, it was a nice catch. I think Timo's had a really good, uh, he had a really good camp. And I'm just glad that he got his number called and he made a play in the, in the game. And it just kind of, it honestly got the offense going. And it kind of thing, that was like the first little spark that uh, for the offense that kind of changed everything outside of KJ's touchdown. But uh, Timo's a great receiver. And I think he just showed y'all what um, he has some in store for him because he's a really good piece for us. Man, it's an unbelievable play. You know, um, Timo, like you said, had a good count. And um, and it was just – it just got the offensive going. So, it was a great um, catch. Okay, and I don't – I didn't bring my notes, but they went up 17-7 to in the third quarter. They had that long pass. You guys could just – and you might as well let down the pass, but what was going on on the sidelines? I mean, because you went 31 to nothing after that. So, talk about the t- chatter on the sidelines and what the coaches were saying to you. Coach just started laughing. Coach looked at us and he said, we're fine. Like, not, I think when you have that confidence in somebody and someone, and as a player, you see that, you have nothing to worry about but to go out and just play, you know what I'm saying? Coach Pittman told us that he, he was hoping that we had some adversity to this game because the adversity was going to determine how good this team would be. I think we handled it really well, you know? And um, I think, yeah, 17-7, I mean, you can start pointing fingers and a lot of teams, especially uh, – that late in the game, but no one panicked. We all stuck together, and then we pulled through and started making big plays, and before you know, we changed the game around. Lynn Terry, do you want to take that? Or? <laughs> no. Okay. okay. Hey, Jalen, could, could you uh, kind of go over each of your picks? Those were, you know, really big in helping you guys put the game away, and I don't know if I've ever seen you hurdle like that. I, it's a great play, but I don't know if the coaches want you doing that or not. It's kind of dangerous. Yeah. But could you kind of go over each of those plays and how big they were? Yeah, I'll just sit in the middle, and then um, ball was thrown, and I think Markel uh, Utsi, he tipped it. And, you know, Coach always says, tips and overthrows, you got to have them. So uh, came up, made a play, and then I was in the sideline for the first one. And, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it just things were just happening. I was just jumping, moving. I didn't know what was going on. And then I ain't gonna lie, I got so tired. I said, man, it's what it is. I'm just gonna fall. <laughs> Make sure I don't do nothing that's stupid. But uh, no, um, I, I credit us too for getting his hands up for sure. And um, like I said, tips over those, I gotta have him. And then the second one, I was just playing the middle and um, quarterback didn't see me. So I came up and made a play. You know, wish I would have scored on it, but you know, we're not gonna speak on that. <laughs> Y'all, just your thoughts on Andrew Parker today coming in, playing at the second level, see four tackles and a couple of quarterback hurries. I mean, he uh, he stepped up when we needed him. You know, we had two linebackers go down, but um, like Coach said, uh, we needed depth, and um, he played a big role and he did his part.
Yeah, Andrew stepped up really good. I've always told him that uh, your number's coming. When it comes, make sure you're ready because you never know what's going to happen. Of course, you know, it's tough to lose um, someone like um, Grant Morgan that early in the game, but uh, I, I had trust in Andrew. I had him flinch one bit, and he just showed you that, you know, we had depth back there. He can come in and fill in if Grant, you know, some happens to Grant, you know what I'm saying? So I was just proud of him and the way he played. You lose uh, Grant in the first half and then Bumper in the, you know, in the second. Just how difficult with his targeting rule is it to play defense these days? So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I would know, I would know about it, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> but, yeah. but no, nah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's definitely a tough break. You know what I'm saying? You just don't, I mean, like I said, I know Grant didn't mean to do that, but you know, it's just, you got to deal with what it is and move on. Same with bumper bumper, which is playing football. And I mean, the rest I was targeting, you know, you can't do nothing, but just take it how it is and move on no matter what the situation, you know, where your opinion is. So, uh, but I know they're going to be ready to go. I mean, I know Bumps got sit out for the first half, but we'll have Grant back, and I trust Hayden. And like I said, our linebackers play today. I think we're flexible enough to do whatever and put in whoever and be just fine. I thought I'd ask you guys uh, both, after last year without the crowds and the crowd noise <laughs> and just how, how cool was it for you guys and how much that feed you in that comeback and the, that frenzy or whatever in the second half to have the crowd behind you, you know, how different is that than what it was like last year? It's a great feeling, man. Just not having the fans last year is like totally different from this year, you know. And it just gave us momentum and like just to play hard, you know. Um, I love the fans. Like they played a good part, and I thank them for coming out. Yeah, fans were rocking today, you know, and they stuck behind us. You know, we got to a rough start, but they never flinched. They stayed behind us, and they gave us that juice that we need to keep going. So I credit them because they made it hard for uh, the offense to kind of hear things at times, and um, they definitely made it hard for them. So. Uh, hats off to uh, our fans and much love to him. And Sam said when he was talking to you guys after the game, he, he said, you know, he was expecting some adversity and expect the first half, you know, the whole mm-hmm. first half to sort of be that way. But um, he said, yeah, you got to put a uh, full game together against Texas. Everybody's been talking about Texas all summer. Now you can focus on that. How good is that? And do you guys feel like you can, you know, make the kind of improvements going to be necessary to be a team like Texas? Uh, like Coach said, you know, it's going it's to be a – Full game. We got to play a full game as our uh, offense, as a defense. So we got to be ready for that. But uh, like I said, we're going to enjoy this one. You know, you always got to enjoy your wins. But at the same time, you always got to, after the day, to put it behind. Wherever Texas is, a, it's going to be a big game. Texas is a, a great team. And I believe we're, we're a great team just like them. And so it's going to be a physical game. And we just got to fix our mistakes from this game, learn from it, and just make sure everybody gets healthy, ready to go when the uh, time comes. Feeling out of your two interceptions, which one did you think you were going to score more on? I'm going to say uh, C, which was both. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, the first one, I ain't going to lie, I thought I had a chance. I thought I could cut through the gap. And, uh, like I said, after that, just stuff started happening. I don't know what was going on. Second one, I definitely thought I was going to score. But I'm, I'm not going to lie. I wish I had some balance to keep in. But, uh, like I said, I credit my defense, you know what I'm saying, for those picks. You know, like I said, I see guys hand up. Defense got pressure on the second one, forced to make a bad throw. And uh, like I said, you got, got credited the guys up front. And I'm not sure if we're going to get talked to you next week, but does does playing the Longhorns mean anything extra to you? I mean, were they involved much in your recruiting or, or what's that game mean to you? Uh, for sure, yeah, they were involved in my recruiting. Um, but like I said, I got chose this place because it felt like home to me and the atmosphere. So I have no regrets whatsoever about this team. And today just shows that, you know, the, the, the love the fans show and the environment you get to play in, you can't ask for nothing better. So. I'm I'm proud to be a hog, and I'll always be proud to be a hog, no matter what. How pivotal was that fourth and one stop when they tried to run outside, and I guess Brooks and Bumper got them. And you know, can you all recall that play and its impact on the game? I mean, we just had to get a stop. You know, um, when it come down to it, um, we just had to get a stop, and we got a stop. Yeah, we just um, it's fourth and one. Um, I think everybody's played their holes right. Defense got good pursuit, helped they had to bounce it. Bumper made some a good pursuit. I think I was trailing the back. And like I said, Greg was running to the ball. Like Coach always says, you got to run to the ball. And everybody did. And then um, the result was good. We got to stop the, the offense that the team needed. And I think I got everything kind of going for sure. But, but the people down in Ashdown probably hear a lot about Texas too. Oh, yeah. uh, what do you think about this game coming up? Man, um, I feel like it's going to be a great one. You know, the fans going to come out. You know, it's going to be a great game. You know, um, Texas is a um, great team, great physical Team that got good athletes just like we do. So it's going to be a good one. All right, that's it. Thanks, fellas.